today we are going to the mall. Um, it's very cold today, so we want to do an indoor activity. <laughs> so we're going to the mall today. Um, yesterday I had to stop vlogging just because of how cold it was. We were outside the entire time. We were at the palace and then we went to Insadon, which I didn't really vlog at all over there just because of how freaking cold it was. My hands were freezing. So today is actually a lot colder than it was yesterday. At least the sun is out today, but I brought my scarf, I brought my gloves, like we're gonna make it work today. Um, but this is my outfit. Yeah, this is mom's outfit. Yeah, yeah. And let's get going. Your pants aren't on the ground. Maybe you should wear it more. because it's too cold to do anything else but now we're on our way to the Seoul, Seoul Tower? Nam Sun Tower? Forgot what it's called but um, there's like a cable car that goes up there so we're walking there and it's still very cold Starting from scratch, brick by brick. No path carved out for us now. The brush is We're currently in Hongdae and we came to a pho place because it's snowing. Maybe you should slow down. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, put put your chopstick down for like two seconds. <laughs> I just burnt my hand a little. You burnt mouth? No. Because you're eating too fast. Yeah.
it's really cold and we're trying to figure out how to get a taxi because <laughs> we're trying to go to these really cute cafes here but they're kind of far from where we are right now so we're trying to figure out where to get a taxi but it's so cold <laughs> just wanted to use this portion of the vlog to talk about the things that I wish I knew before coming to Korea and just give you guys some like general tips if you plan on going to Korea in the future. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm in the Philippines right now filming this portion of the video, um, but I had a lot of fun in Korea and it was really nice to be able to travel with my sister-in-law because she does speak Korean, so she made it a lot easier to navigate the city because she can like read Korean, she can speak Korean, so um, it was very easy to communicate with like taxi drivers and you know sales associates and things like that so um, it was I had a really great time and it was really nice to spend time with my family as well because we haven't had a trip like that in a really long time so I just had a lot of fun but I wrote some things down on my notebook of like some takeaways and like things that I just wish that I knew or some general tips for you guys so the number one was that it was very cold obviously we went in December it's like the middle of winter I did pack adequately for the trip like I brought a lot of things um, that were warm so if you're planning on going to Korea in the winter and you're not from a place that is cold um, I would highly recommend finding like fleece lined thermals to go underneath your clothing I actually have a video of like what I packed for my Korea trip and my Philippines trip, but I'll link it right up here on the description box and down below. But because it was so cold, the weather really limited our activities. Like there were so many places that I wanted to go to, but it was just difficult to get there because it was snowing. <laughs> so um, the next time I go to Korea would definitely not be in the winter because it was, I don't know, it was just like the weather really limited the types of activities that we could do. And also, trekking through snow takes up a lot of energy <laughs> like it took a lot of energy out of me so there's that leave extra luggage space for shopping and use vacuum sealed bags traveling in the winter means that clothes will take up a lot more space in your luggage so if you can get like some vacuum sealed bags uh preferably the one that has like a manual pump because you might not have access to a vacuum while you're um, overseas or while you're traveling. Um, so it's easy to have like a manual one that you can just like put in your bag. Um, leave extra space because I wish that I left more like space in my luggage because I did end up buying quite a few things and I wanted to buy more actually. I just couldn't fit it in my luggage. So I really wish that I left more space in my luggage. One thing that I loved about Korea or about Seoul really is I just love the ease of public transportation. I'm from LA and public transportation in LA is trash. I went to New York City a couple of times last year and New York City Metro is really dirty and unsophisticated compared to the subway system in Seoul. Um, it's actually crazy how different the two subway systems are. I just really loved how clean the subways were, the ease of transportation, 
Everyone was very polite on the subway. It wasn't very loud. I don't know, I just really enjoyed taking public transportation there. I wish every like transit system was this clean and efficient. Unfortunately, that is not the case in the United States of America. One thing you need to know about Gangnam if you're ever interested in going is that Gangnam is not a very pedestrian friendly neighborhood. It's not very walking friendly. That neighborhood is definitely optimized for private cars, which makes a lot of sense because there's like a lot of rich people that live there. It's also very hilly, like there's a lot of hills. So it was really exhausting, like going up and down streets because like you're going up hills and down hills and it was just like not a very fun experience to just like walk around Gangnam. <laughs> so if you do go to Gangnam, um, be prepared to take taxis, especially if you go in the winter cause it's cold and snowing. Another tip is that Korea does not have Uber. They do have, like you can flag down a taxi, but they also have their own app based like rideshare app thing. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it on the screen right here. I wish we would have downloaded that before we went because it would have helped out a lot. <laughs> okay, and now I have batteries about to die, but I basically said everything that I needed to. I hope you guys enjoyed my Korea vlogs. Asia and Asia will continue because I am in the Philippines right now and I've been in the Philippines since December 17th. So stay tuned for more. On the next episode of Asia in Asia, we are in the Philippines, girlies. Eh.